using prayer to touch communities across Gadsden County. That's what community, faith, and local government leaders hope to do through this week. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Jada Williams. ABC 27's Micah Cho looks at the county's seven days of prayer initiative and the one man sharing his story to help save others. He was an athlete. He played all sports. He was kind. He was respectful. And I pray, God, for protection, God, even in their minds, God. Protection in their thoughts, God. A community coming together, praying for change to keep teenagers and young adults like Sean Potter Jr. alive. I would have never thought that I would be going to a service for my own child. On June 19th, the 19-year-old died after being shot. His father, Sean Potter Sr., now carries his son's picture with him wherever he goes. Um, let everything that has stepped in the way, God, be removed. Sean Potter Jr. is just one of seven homicides in Gadsden County since 2020. Now faith, city, and county leaders are coming together in prayer. The Interfaith Committee in Gadsden County is hosting seven days of prayer on Sunday. They made a stop in Gretna with a message and a prayer to stop the violence. Prayer is a foundational and it's a key to help build up and help bring strength and unity to a community. And our hopes in going out to the different communities of Gadsden County is that we pull more people in. Lieutenant Angelie Holmes works for the Gadsden County Sheriff's Office. She believes faith can help overcome the violence they've seen. Pastor Marcus Smith shares that same hope and understands the importance of the seven days of prayer initiative. Really the goal that we wanted to do as far as coming together today is to be able to just open up the doors. Ending the violence, definitely right, a community seven, effort. Seven, El Michelle seven, Savant seven, works with the Gazin County's Teen Success Academy. Uh, she says as life coaches, the organization focuses their efforts on helping teens see a future beyond what's on the streets. Just uh, building up just self-confidence in general as a teenager, learning uh, to become more comfortable uh, with your identity, learning how to to cope with your various emotions. A countywide effort to keep another life from being lost to violence. But there are some things that need In Tallahassee, Micah Cho for ABC 27. Tomorrow is day three of the seven days of prayer initiative. On Monday, the group will meet at St. John AME Church in Quincy at 7 p.m.